Children's Church uh, together. And so children, I hope uh, you're there. If you were still getting your breakfast ready, now's your time to come and join uh, in front of your TV or computer at this time. Uh, well, kids, I'm so glad you're here joining our service. We're still going to be doing this for a little while, I think. And so I'm imagining all of you in your living rooms, uh, maybe in your jammies, maybe you're holding one of your favorite stuffies or something like that. But I'm glad to have this moment to share um, God's word with uh, you. Uh, well, children, during this time, as we've been preaching uh, through the Bible, we've been doing a sermon series as, as adults. And you may have noticed we've called it Faith Under Pressure. Faith Under Pressure. And under pressure may not sound like something very pleasing. Imagine something putting pressure on you. I don't know if there's a time you felt stressed or scared. But actually, part of life is that we will face different pressures and stress. And as Christians, our faith will feel under pressure as well. And that doesn't always sound fun. So I was trying to think, kids, what I should talk to you about today to help us understand faith under pressure. And I thought I'd do a little bit of show and tell. And I wonder if you guys remember what I did for show and tell last week. I'll give you a hint. Do you see who's up there? Sean the sheep. That's where Sean the sheep normally sits. But I think I have something else on my shelf today to do um, some kind of show and tell. Let me think. What do I have on my shelf that I might be able to show you? Well, there's a lot of books. Are books that interesting? I don't know. But, oh, I have a cross here. But I have something beside my cross here. This is a very, very round stone. And one thing you may not know about Pastor Allen is if you come over to my house, in different places, I have stones. Probably a few too many, but I have stones. Some are still sitting in a box from my moving. This stone is very special to me. It comes from far, far away. I would have to guess, I don't know, about 3,000 kilometers or so. This comes from New Brunswick, near the Bay of Fundy. The Bay of Fundy is this place uh, where the water goes up and down. Actually, more than anywhere else in the world, uh, the Bay of Fundy has huge tides. And I really like the stone. And when I was there, I was walking on a beach just covered with actually quite large stones, all about this size. And you see this is about getting close to the size of my fist here. And I like this one. Partly it has this kind of cool, you see this kind of spotted pattern on it. But the other thing I like about it is just how smooth it is. It almost looks like an egg. And I don't know if you've seen many stones. A lot of stones aren't very smooth. And you might be wondering, how does a stone get as smooth as an egg? Well, stones actually, when they're sitting in the water, or maybe they go down a waterfall, or there's other rocks hitting it, a rock doesn't start out this smooth, but actually all sorts of different kinds of pressure can slowly turn a rock that has very sharp edges into something very, very smooth and quite beautiful, actually. But what sometimes what we don't see is everything that had to happen for the stone to become smooth. And so kids, this sermon series we're doing called Faith Under Pressure is reminding us right now with this global pandemic and COVID-19, I think everyone is under quite a bit of pressure and that's not very comfortable. I think that can be scary and stressful. But one of the things the Bible tells us about, even when we're under pressure, is that sometimes that's the way certain beautiful things happen in certain ways uh, things grow. And I don't know if some of you have been to the Bay of Fundy, but I want to show you one picture from the place where, very close to where I got this rock. Now, I couldn't find the original picture, so I had to just find it on Google, but I actually stood here. And what you'll see here, and I'm sure there's a, a cooler way I could show you this photo, but you see all these interesting rock structures, and you might be like, oh, it's so weird. The bottom is so skinny and the top is so big. Well, just like water and rocks can slowly make this smooth, the same thing has happened here, that years and years of water coming and rubbing the bottom of all the structures has taken away the soil, and you end up with a really, really cool looking structure. Uh, well, children, I think that's exactly what I'm trying to say to us, is that we will face pressure during this time. It can be scary. It can be lonely. Um, people around us might get sick. And you may hear in the news even that people are, are dying and things like that. It is a scary time. And I think our faith is under pressure. So, children, I want to pray for you today that we will learn to follow God even in these challenging things. So, children, can we put our hands together? Let's bow our heads, and I would love to pray for you. Uh, God, thank you for our children. Lord, we know they are facing different pressures to be home, to not be able to go out um, and seeing some of the scary news in our world. Lord, we pray that you would grow the faith of our children, uh, that they would know you truly, 
Um, and even when they face pressure, that their faith would increase and they would grow closer to you. Uh, thank you, Jesus, for each of our children. Uh, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.